What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com, recapping the news, and before we jump into things, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up, and if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. Now as for highlights in this video, we have updates on the Air Jordan 4 Paris, Air Jordan 4 Oxidized Green, and the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue. We also have a lot more from Jordan brand, including a first look at the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Barons. Other than that, we have a few things from Nike. And now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. Back in 2022, Nike Basketball and Kevin Durant launched the Nike KD15 Producer Pack, which consisted of three pairs inspired by different producers. Now for 2024, the pack is returning, but this time on the KD17. We now have a first look at one of the pairs dropping, which is for producer Bink. So Bink is known for his collaborations with Rockefeller Records and Jay-Z on the Blueprint album. So his upcoming collab will feature a Sesame, University Gold, Rough Green, and Monarch color combination. So the pair features Sesame across the base, and then the TPU overlay is done in black. It also features Bink's signature on the lateral side, while the hills have stitched hands throwing peace signs. Gold fills in the eyelets, KD branding on the tongues, and the swoosh logos. Monarch, which is like a shade of orange, adorns the liner, laces, leather heel overlay, and above the midsole with repeated KD and swoosh branding. Other details include speckled details on the midsole and a translucent rubber outsole, which displays humble. Now for Bink's Nike KD17, this pair will debut on June 17th, and the retail price will be $160. Now, I don't know if this is out there yet, but there is two more pairs in collaborations with producers that are releasing. One of those will be for Metro Boomin, and the other pair will be for The Alchemist. The Nike SB Dunk Low, Phantom, and Hyper Royal, which is what they're being called for now, have already started to release at select skate shops. Now, I know my local skate shop had them a couple days ago on a first-come, first-served basis. I do like the shoes, but I haven't gone there yet to pick them up. But if you don't have a skate shop around you and you like this pair, then they will be available on the Sneakers app. But as you guys already know, getting something on the Sneakers app is incredibly hard. I know that they did a shock drop on this City of Style SB Dunk Low representing the Paris Olympics. They had this special scratch off thing. I went and I scratched it off pretty quick, submitted all my info, and I still missed. Another shoe that I'm going to talk about later in this video, I also went and try to enter and win, but I didn't. So, you know, I'm kind of over the sneakers app right now. But if you want to grab this pair, they drop on April 24th via the sneakers app, and the retail price will be 115 Now, the official colorway is Phantom, Malachite, and Hyper Royal. And this pair reminds me a lot of the Deep Royal Blue SB Dunk Low, which dropped earlier this year. And that's a pair that I really like, and I'm happy to have that pair on the way now. But yeah, this pair definitely reminds me of some sort of pack between the two. I know in the previous video we talked about the Futura Nike SB Dunk Low. We only had a few images and even prior to that we only had a couple photos. But now we have some on-feed images so I did want to share that with you guys in this video. And just on a side note, I do know additional images are going around of the friends and family pair which I wanted to include in this video but unfortunately I really don't want to include the photos because for one, where they come from, and two, they're watermarked pretty bad. Not that I'm against people watermarking their photos. I think everyone should do that, but it practically covers the entire photo. But if I have to by next video, then I'll include them, but I'm hoping somebody else drops a new set of images. Anyways, we have this on feet look. This shoe, I'm definitely looking forward to picking up. Hopefully, I'm able to. I already know they're going to be on the limited side. As for the friends and family pair, there is a rumor that they could drop, but if they do, there's around 250 pairs, which is extremely limited. They'll probably do something in New York where they drop locally. But the retail pair, which in my opinion looks better than the friends and family pair, features a bleached aqua geo tail in white color combination. Now, unfortunately, we still don't have a release date, but the shoes are expected to debut May 2024, and the retail price will be $135. Alexis Sablone is a professional skateboarder, 
architect and artist. She has competed in events like the X Games as well as Street League Skateboarding. And for 2024, she has a collaboration with Nike Skateboarding releasing, which will be on the SB Dunk Low. Now, she'll also have a collab with Converse, which will be on the AS1 Pro. Now we have a first look at both shoes and the Converse features a simple white and fuchsia color combination with white tumbled leather on the overlays and then fuchsia hitting the branding. Now more than likely a lot of people are going to be more excited about the SB Dunk Low which features a unique look. Now the official colorway is oil green, desert moss, and white. The shoes feature tumble leather throughout, and the highlight is a reptile-like texture on the overlays, which blends shades of green, moss, brown, and fuchsia. That same texture that you see on the overlays also hits the swoosh logos, which is done in Olive, and then Olive also hits the liner in the hill overlay. Now, if you look closely to the shoes, you'll see a little bit of fuchsia on the white base, which could mean that it'll wear away. And once it's worn away, it'll feature a different design. Now, that isn't confirmed, but... Previously, when we've seen stuff like that, it usually means that it wears away. As well, just the overall design on the reptile-like overlay kind of looks like it could be worn away as well. I'm not entirely sure if that's just the styling how it comes or she skated in these and that's kind of like the end result. Anyways, we'll probably find out more soon. But completing the look, we have a cell midsole and a green rubber outsole. I'm sure it also features unique branding to her, but again, we only have the one photo. Well, there actually will be two photos shown, but it's just the same angle. One photo has the Converse removed, and then the other photo is the one that she shared on her Instagram. Now, the Converse will also feature a wearaway upper. You can kind of see that on the right side of the image on the toe. And as for a release date, unfortunately, we don't have one, but they are expected to debut fall 2024, and the retail price will be 135 Moving on to Jordan Brand, and in this segment, we have a handful of official photos as well as first looks and detailed looks at various shoes. Now, the first pair I'm going to talk about is the Air Jordan 11 Low Legend Pink. Now, for those that don't know, this shoe is releasing in women's sizing. They'll also be available in preschool and toddler. And for the longest time, we only had images of the preschool and toddler pair. And then recently images popped up of the women's pair and now we have the official photos. Although we still have some time before the release date comes. Now just to recap the shoes, they feature a white and legend pink color combination highlighted with pink patent leather on the mud guard. And then we have white mesh and leather on the upper. White also hits the liner in the midsole and then finishing the look is pink on the branding and the translucent rubber outsole. Now, if you're interested in grabbing these, they're going to drop on June 22nd, and the retail price will be 190 More official images popped up, this time of the Air Jordan 1 High OG Latte, aka Legend Medium Brown. Now, due to these official images, I like them a lot more, just the overall look. Also, we do have photos of the box, which I will include, and it's basically the same latte pattern that you see on the insoles is placed on the box. So to recap the shoes for you guys, they feature a black legend medium brown white and cell color combination highlighted with white leather on the base and toe. And then we have black around the toe, eye stays, laces, swoosh logo, collar, Nike Air and wings branding. Other details includes brown on the ankle overlay around the heel and the rubber outsole and then cell fills in the midsole. These are nice. They have grown on me a lot. Initially when I saw them, they looked nice, but... As more images started to pop up, yeah, they've grown on me. But May 29th is the release date, and the retail price will be 180 You know what's weird? I can't even remember if I talked about the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Gorge Green in a previous video. I know I talked about them overall, but I'm not entirely sure if I shared a first look. So if I didn't, this will count as a first look. If not, this will be a second viewing of the shoe. But for those that don't know, this is another women's exclusive release. It also marks the second time that the Air Jordan 1 Low OG will debut exclusively in women's sizing. There's also another pair that's going to drop in August, so that will be the third. That's the oxidized green Air Jordan 1 Low OG. But to go over the pair, they feature a black, gorge green, varsity red, and cell color combination. A lot of people are calling these Gucci due to the colorway, and yeah, that kind of does remind me of Gucci. So if you want to call them gorge green or Gucci, that's 
cool with me. But they come constructed with leather. We have black across the base with gorge green on the toe box, swoosh logo around the heel, and the tongue label. Now bringing the whole Gucci vibe together, we have red on the liner, Nike Air on the tongue, wings on the heel, laces, and the rubber outsole. Finishing the look is sell on the midsole. But if you're interested in grabbing this pair, they drop on June 12th, and the retail price will be 140 Yesterday, images leaked of the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Barons. Now, these look nothing like the mock-up that's going around. Personally, I would have preferred the mock-up. These aren't bad. They're clean. Nice summer shoe. But yeah, I like the mock-up a lot more. So, this pair actually helps celebrate the 30th anniversary of when Michael Jordan played for the Barons, which of course took place in 1994. Now you guys might remember that Jordan brand released the Barons Air Jordan 1 High OG to celebrate the 20th anniversary in 2014. Now the shoes feature a white, black, and wolf gray color combination. And as you can see, white covers the base, all constructed with leather. And then we have gray around the toe, eye stays, heel, liner, and the rubber outsole. Black hits the swoosh logo, heel overlay, and the laces. And then white will fill in the wings logo on the heels and the midsole to complete the look. These are nice. I just was hoping that we would get a low top version of the Barons Air Jordan 1 High OG from 2014. And for those that are interested in grabbing these, they are scheduled to debut July 13th. And the retail price will be 140 New photos of the Air Jordan 1 High OG first in flight popped up and not only do we have a detailed look but we also have photos showing how they look on feet. Now this shoe is said to be inspired by the University of North Carolina and the Wright brothers. But I stated this in a previous video, the color blocking reminds me a lot of a reverse Marquette PE. And the pair features a University Blue, University Gold, Cell, and Midnight Navy color combination. Now just as a heads up, this is a women's exclusive, and what I'm hearing is they won't be available in extended women's sizing. So going over the pair, they feature white leather across the base. We have Midnight Navy on the ankle overlay, tongue label, and around the hills. University Blue hits the swoosh logos, runs down the eye stay, laces, collar, and around the toe box. And then we have a bit of gold, which fills in the wings branding and the logos on the insoles. Now on the tongue labels, it reads Nike Air and First in Flight. And then finishing the look is a white midsole and a navy rubber outsole. I like these. Even with the gold placement, although I feel like it's a little bit forced, they're still dope to me. And if you want to pick them up, they are currently scheduled to release on July 6th. The retail price for women's sizing is $180, preschool will cost $85, and toddler sizes will cost $70. New images popped up of the Air Jordan 3 Cement Gray. Now, when details first leaked about this shoe, it wasn't known the color blocking, although the colorway somewhat mimicked that of the Air Jordan 3 White Cement Reimagined and the Air Jordan 3 Katrina. Now, I knew that we weren't going to get a return of the White Cement Air Jordan 3 just because the year prior we got the shoes. And then the Katrina, I didn't believe this would be that pair just because... When I received the info from my source, they didn't make any mention about it being a Katrina 3. So this is the end result. And I'll be honest, at first I was like, they're okay, but they've definitely grown on me. And the official colorway is Summit White, Fire Red, Cement Gray, and Black. Now the thing I like the most about the shoes is the darker shades used across the elephant print. Other than that, we have white on the base. That also hits the eyelets, laces, and tongue. And then we have red on the Jumpman located on the tongue, while the Jumpman on the hill is done in black. More black hits the liner. And then the lower part of the midsole, it has an aged look, something I'm a huge fan of. And just above that, we have some more cement gray. Now, completing the look is a cement gray rubber outsole. Now, this pair is currently scheduled to release on August 31st. They will be available in full family sizing. So we have men's priced at 200, grade school at 150, preschool at 90, and toddler sizes at 75. Now, I kind of wonder how these are going to do. I assume that they're not going to do great, and that's not to take away from them. We just have a lot of threes releasing, and I know a lot of people are looking forward to the Black Cement Air Jordan 3, the Nina Chanel Abney Air Jordan 3, and Amma Meniere's upcoming collab. So what I'm probably going to do is wait and hopefully grab these on sale. Well, yesterday was a big day for the Air Jordan 4 Military Blue. The sneakers app teased that 
a shock drop would be coming. I don't remember exactly what they said, but a lot of people knew that a shock drop was going to happen. I didn't believe that it was going to happen the following day, which would have been yesterday, but it did. Now, they were available at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. However, if you missed out on the shock drop, there will be a wider release, which the release date has changed once again. Now, I did enter the shock drop, if that's what you really want to call it, because a lot of people knew in advance, plus, I believe, 30 minutes prior, it was already live on their website. But yeah, I submitted, and I missed out, which I'm very upset about, because first, I missed out on the City of Style SB Dunk Low, and then I miss out on this pair, which is the number one shoe I want to pick up for 2024. Now, I do need to realize that a lot more pairs are coming, because that is the truth. This is a big GR. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that everybody is going to hit, because a lot of people are going to get doubles and even triples in some cases. Plus, you do have to battle the resellers. They're going to be looking for their pairs. So my advice to anybody that is trying to grab these, don't put all your eggs in one basket, meaning don't just try to go after the sneakers app. When the release does come, enter a bunch of different raffles. So at least you have these options. So if you miss out on the first store, maybe the second or the third one may hit. Worst case scenario, you don't have to pick up all the pairs. And after a certain amount of time, those pairs will be available to the public. So for the new release date, we're actually going back to one of the original, which is May 4th. Now, recently they were pushed until May 25th, but since they popped up on the sneakers app, they stayed in May 4th. So that will be the release date that everybody is looking forward to. And that's kind of why I felt that the shock drop wouldn't happen so soon is because the release date was May 25th. Being that far out, I thought more than likely a shock drop would happen in early May or by the end of the first week of May. But being a shock drop yesterday makes a lot more sense with this release date. Also, the retail price will be 215 Let me know if you were able to pick this pair up on the shock drop. I saw a couple of you guys did on Twitter, so big congrats to you. In a handful of previous videos, I talked about the Air Jordan 4 oxidized green. Now, during those photos, all we had was a screenshot which was taken from the Sneakers Live. I know a lot of people, including myself, were looking forward to a detailed look just so we can see various angles. And yesterday, that finally happened. So, this is our detailed look at the Air Jordan 4 oxidized green. As well, there are some photos showing how they look on feet. Overall, I like this shoe a lot. And the official colorway is white, oxidized green, white, and neutral gray. Now, there's an Air Jordan 1 Low OG for women that is also dropping in oxidized green. And the whole shade of oxidized green, to my recollection, was first used on the Air Jordan 14 back in the late 1990s. So, I'm happy the shade is coming back and it's on a clean colorway. As you can see, it features white throughout. And then we have oxidized green with kind of like a metallic finish across the upper midsole, eyelets, and the Jumpman on the heels. More oxidized green lands on the inside of the tongues, liner, and beneath the mesh on the panels and tongue. Now, on the midsole around the air unit, it looks like cell is used, which gives it an aged look. That was also present on the screenshot from the Sneakers Live. Although, the color description doesn't list cell. And then completing the look is cement gray accents on the rubber outsole. These are a definite pickup for me. Hopefully they don't sell out. Normally I would say they wouldn't, but it is a four, so you never know. And as for the release details, this pair is currently scheduled to release on June 15th. And I have the retail price as being 210, although it's very possible that they could bump these up to 215. And they will be available in full family sizing. Let me know your thoughts on these down below if you plan on picking them up or passing. For the last piece of news in this video, we have an updated mock-up of the Air Jordan 4 Paris Olympics. Now this mock-up is accurate. I was able to see the shoes, so you can expect them to release just like this. Now for those that don't know, this is one of a handful of pairs releasing for the upcoming 2024 Olympic Games. We also have the Air Jordan 6 Paris Olympics and then we have the Air Jordan 6 Olympics returning. This pair will be an SE, which stands for Special Edition, so that automatically means the retail price is bumped up, which I'll get to more on that in a moment. Now the official colorway is Smoke Gray, Iron Gray, Cement Gray, and Particle Gray. 
And you guys might remember me talking about them months and months back. I was calling them Smoke Gray. I didn't know the inspiration for the shoes at that time, but I did know the color description, style code, and the price. But going over the pair, they feature white leather on the base. And then we have a light shade of grade on the mudguard. And then a slightly darker shade on the midsole. More gray hits the eyelets as well as the heel and tongue branding. Other details includes white on most of the midsole and more gray on the rubber outsole. It's kind of weird. Jordan brand is using shades of gray on their Olympic stuff aside from the Air Jordan 6 Olympic. Meanwhile, Nike SB is dropping various colorful pairs. Something I noticed. It's not a bad thing. I'm just more curious why the shades of gray. I don't really know how it connects to Paris. But I'm sure Jordan brand will go more into detail on that later down the road. Now, if you're interested in grabbing this pair, they drop on July 27th, and the retail price will be $225 for men's and $170 in grade school sizes. Let me know your thoughts on these down in the comment section below. Are these a cop or pass? And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, greatly appreciate you guys for watching. If you have a second and haven't done so already, also appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe by hitting the button below. As well, make sure to turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I drop a new video. Now, as for upcoming videos, I plan on dropping one Monday as long as there's enough information. And then Saturday and Sunday, more than likely, I'm going to drop some shorts. I do appreciate all the love you guys have been showing on the shorts. I know you guys like the long form content. That's here to stay. I just want to add in some shorts just to have something available for those that just like shorter videos. But for this video, let me know what you liked or disliked down in the comment section below. As well, if you have any questions, make sure to leave that down below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfalls.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.